actually fourth after the first rotation in this women's all-around competition, Shannon Miller, on one of her best events. She has a beautiful combination of difficult elements, starting with this full over the top, right into a release move. There it is. She has certainly perfected it over the last couple of years. Very nice element. Oh, a little bit off center, but she got it right back on the mark. Final release move before the dismount. And now this is the toughest part for Shannon. It's a double layout. And she's grown four inches. And whoa, she's getting used to it, though. And she can really stay laid out in that position and pull it all the way around. How about a smile from Shannon Miller? That's the first smile we've seen all week long. Just like when we saw her in Australia a few months ago at the World Championships, she struggled in practice, but she knows how to pull it out in the meets. I know we keep talking about growing four inches. That is a big deal in gymnastics. Especially when you're trying to stay in a laid out position, you're much longer and it's harder to flip fast enough to get around. Look at that, the full turn up above the bar. She knows right where it is. Quick update on scores at 9762 for Fabrice Nova on the beam. Over on the uneven bars, the score for Ana Maria Bican from Romania was a 9625. Now getting ready to perform here. Yelena Piscun from Belarus. The score, by the way, was a 975 for Shannon Miller over on the bars. That puts her in second place behind Grosheva. Piscun does just about everything in the book on the balance beam. Incredible difficulty. Watch this. Oh no. I haven't seen her miss all week. That was at least a two-tenth of a point deduction, if not more. A lot of audiences in the United States are familiar with Yelena Piscoon. She's come to the States many times for American Cup competitions and other invitationals. Oh. oh. What a shame. She's been making that in competition regularly. Certainly one of the most difficult skills you can do on the balance beam. Very risky. She had a 975 in her first event here. The uneven bars. That will totally take her out of the running in the all-around competition. No scores carry over. Everyone starts new life today. This will certainly put her completely out of the running in the all-around. Pike double back. That's too bad because she was right in there. Now on the uneven bars, Dina Kochetkova. Probably the strongest physically in this competition in terms of just outright physical strength. If she were to score more than a 9-7-3-1, she could take the lead over her teammate Grosheva. The best part of her routine is the transition from low bar to high bar and then back down. She does it with such ease. Huge dismount, double layout. Now we've seen several of the gymnasts perform hike into the layout. She stayed laid out all the way around. Tight all-around competition here at the Goodwill Games. So let's take a look at the standings after two rotations. The score, by the way, for Yelena Piscun was a 9.15. Kochetkova, as I said, is in first place. Grosheva, second. Shannon Miller from the United States, a very close third. With the women's all-around at the midway point, we're now going to head to the... ...on a price tag. While most teenagers are attempting to balance math equations, these young gymnasts have the balanced beam, among other things, as an added challenge. It's a lifestyle that is equally as capable of building character as it is destroying it. Kathy Johnson takes a closer look at the sport of gymnastics. Focus and concentration. Moments of greatness indelibly etched in our minds. Images of young gymnasts, strong and supple, striving for perfection under immense pressure. Some are victorious, others end in disappointment. Both follow the same path that begins with a dream to be like Olga or Nadia, and continues with hard work, sacrifice, and times of both joy and heartache. 
For those like Mary Lou, whose names will never be forgotten, winning at the right time was everything. But is it the only thing? There are so many personal rewards to be gained from gymnastics. First of all, I can tell you, it's incredibly fun to flip. But in addition, young girls learn discipline, dedication, and the value of hard work. However, as they progress toward Olympic caliber competition, the risks increase, and special care must be taken to ensure they have the proper support system they need to face the unusual pressures and demands of this sport. But for gymnasts to master the skills necessary to compete at the elite level, they must start very young so as not to rush the process, to take advantage of the time when gymnastics is easiest, when the body is small, light, and agile, and energy is boundless. The nice part about having the youth in the gymnastics and the young girls and stuff is that uh, they have these little self-built-in mechanisms, you know, they can go and go and go and go, and they, they are all pumped up and they're excited and they're trying things and then they'll wear out. And if you give them a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a break, all of a sudden they're children, they can pick right back up and go again. Until they turn ages 14 to 18, uh, the little bodies handle quite a bit. It takes a lot of hard work to get to the Olympics. You have to push yourself and make yourself do it. Because that's the only way you can become something. Everything you wanted to do and you want to reach perfection, you have to work hard. Young gymnasts also know it takes sacrifice to reach the elite level. That means maintaining strict diets, trading free time for training time, and for many, moving away from home to train. I don't live with my dad. I'm not with my brother either. And that's a pretty big sacrifice. I've gone through a lot in my gymnastics career, you know, of, you know, successes, failures, whatever. But I've enjoyed it all, and I think it's all been a really good experience for me. There are dreams of making Olympic teams and winning medals, which are won by mere thousands of a point. The tiniest of errors can mean the difference of a medal, and certainly a fall is disastrous. A gymnast must be able to deal with any outcome. The fact that I didn't make it to the Olympics, I didn't get to compete in the Olympics. That, I mean, that was the hardest thing for me to deal with. You know, as far as I was concerned, it ruined the rest of my life. But... You know, I, I got into a really bad depression and everything because I didn't make the Olympic team and that was my dream and I'd given up so much of my life for that, you know, just for that one chance. Some gymnasts like Christy, now 22, embarking on an acting career, don't realize what they've gained from the sport until they put some distance between themselves and the gym, especially if they fell short of their goals. You have to be happy with yourself. Be happy. Come on. You did never think you'd be that close, did you? Gymnastics doesn't have to be a do-or-die sport. The risks can be minimized through proper coaching, strong family support, and a change in society's definition of success. Winning has become so important in our world that unless young athletes are taught otherwise, they equate success only with winning. As a result, they're hard-pressed to believe that just being the best they possibly can be is success in and of itself.